Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Darling, on today's video, I'm gonna be revisiting a topic that I did way back when, when I started my YouTube channel back in September. So I'm gonna be adding coconut oil, virgin coconut oil on Nature Wax C3 Soy Wax. If you wanna see how this works out for me, keep on watching. Yes! Hi guys, welcome back to the channel! Guys, on today's video, I'm gonna be revisiting a subject that I made a video on at the beginning of my channel back six months ago, back in September, I believe it was. And that's gonna be, I'm gonna be adding virgin coconut oil to a soy wax. Uh, on this video, I'm gonna be using Nature Wax C3. And I'm gonna see whether or not that gives me the same results as the previous video. On today's video, I'm gonna be using liquid dye forms uh, liquid dye drops. I'm gonna be using the, can the ones from Candle Science. Uh, I'm gonna be using fragrance oils from the Wooden Wick Company. And I'm gonna be testing on eight ounce mason jars that I got from the supermarket. So I have six of these that I'm getting prepped. So, okay guys, so let's see how this looks and hopefully we'll get a very good results for you. Unfortunately, because soy wax candles that need to be cured for at least two weeks, I won't be able to give you any kind of review on their uh, CT or HD. Uh, so that's gonna be coming on, on another video uh, in the future. So for now, I'm just gonna see how they look. Do they give me a nice looking candle? So let's start, okay guys, let's start having fun. Yes! So I have ready all the uh, different fragrances that I'm gonna be using, guys. So I'm gonna be using, for candle number one, I'm gonna be using Orange Blossom and Fig plus passion fruit and plumeria. For candle number two, I'm gonna be using orange blossom and fig, plus cashmere vanilla. And for candle number three, I'm gonna be adding cashmere vanilla, gardenia grapefruit, and pink peony and nectarine. Okay, so we have the three candles selected, the different oils, and they're all, they're all from uh, the Wooden Week Company, guys. So let me just put this aside. 5.3 ounces of wax. Okay, for each candle, and um, for each fragrance oil, I'm gonna have 0.5 of the fragrance oil. I don't really have to put uh, B or C because they're both gonna have the same oil. The only difference is gonna be the coconut oil, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so now I have to figure out the amount of oil for each. Okay, okay. The next one is going to be orange blossom. Perfect, 0.5. Somehow the smaller, the smaller the bottle, the more messy it gets. Uh, cashmere vanilla. So I'm gonna do two, two and two. I'm gonna do six for this one. So two of these. Cashmere vanilla. Gardenia grapefruit, pink peony, and nectarine. Okay, so let me just put this aside. Cashmere vanilla. Point two. Gardenia grapefruit. Okay. Pink peony. And nectarine. Okay, so we have all the oils ready, guys. Now it's time to get the, uh, the the wax. In the meantime, guys, I'm gonna take like I showed you before. I'm gonna take this um, this container so I can put all the items that I use with the fragrance oil and the wax. I'm gonna put it in here and um, to get all the wax dissolved so it doesn't go down the pipes. A good amount like that. I'm not gonna move. I'm not gonna uh, mix it up. I'm just gonna put the water there and just let it put it on the side until uh, so as I get uh, the stuff ready, I can just drop it in there. So I put my beaker. So I'm waiting for the water to get really hot. Okay, so I have my water with the salt in there. Put it in the side. Okay guys, so now I need to go get the, I have the wax in there and I need to measure the wax. So guys, I think I'm gonna have just enough wax. Hopefully. If this doesn't give me enough, I'm gonna have to change vessels and go find a smaller one. It's because these are flakes. It, it, there's a lot of air in here. It's not like the blocks that I have of wax that you know, it's more predictable. This one is not. Then I need to figure out, guys, how much I need of coconut oil. I should have just enough. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna set up in the other room and I'll be right back. So let me just bring the oils in here. So we have in here the grill. So everything is, is cooking. So let's see. We're going to need three different spatulas, guys, because we are using three different oils. And here they are. So these are the colors that I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using, uh, uh, yellow, uh, Key West Green, and I'm gonna be using magenta. So, uh, because I wanna put color, I just wanna see how it reacts. 
with the waxes. And of course, we have the Star Virgin Coconut Oil. And this is from Simply Truth Organic. You can use any kind of oil that you have, uh, any kind of uh, virgin coconut oil. Doesn't matter the brand, you don't have to spend a fortune, you know, you just plain coconut oil it doesn't even have to be virgin, okay? Just all you need is in the main ingredient, which is the coconut, you know? That's all. So whatever you have at, at home, not liquid, but it has to be on this, on this consistency, okay? Which I heard people doing is they do a teaspoon per pan of wax. So I need to figure out how much I'm gonna put on the candles. I'm just gonna put half a teaspoon on each on each of the of the of the candles. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it in now on the candles that are in the front. So it may be too much, but you know what guys? We are experimenting, so I'm just gonna take half a teaspoon like this, and I'm just gonna put it in the candles in the front. They almost melted, so let me just melt. Again, I'm adding half a teaspoon of coconut oil to each of these candles. It may be too much, but you know, it's just, I just wanna be able to be noticeable to see, to see if that's a big difference. It melts right in the wax. You don't have to worry about it. And half a teaspoon in the last one. Okay, so let me pull this away. So we know that the containers in the front are the ones that have the coconut oil. So I'm not gonna use the spatulas yet on the containers in the back because I wanna make these candles first and then I'll address the ones in the back later. As a matter of fact, I'm just gonna take them off the heat for now because I don't want this wax to overheat. So I'm just gonna put them on the side and I'm just gonna concentrate on these three candles in the front, which I'm gonna... This is gonna go all the way up to 185. That's when I'm gonna add the color. I'm gonna put two drops. Actually, I'm gonna put four drops. I'm gonna put five drops of each. One, two, three, four, five. Second one, magenta. Same thing, five drops. The last one, green. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna test the color on a paper towel. Let me see how they look in the color. Paper towel. Look at that beautiful green, guys. Isn't that beautiful? Perfect. The next color, oh, beautiful magenta. And the last color, beautiful yellow. Yes! Beautiful. So I'm happy with the color. Now I have to wait until they come to temperature. Remember, they need to go up to 185. Okay, this one says that it's 200. So I'm gonna take it off the heat. I'm gonna turn it off and I'm gonna take them off the heat. So I have them in here, of the rack. As it cools down. Okay, these are all, this is 190. So I'm gonna let it just cool, 195. I'm gonna let them all cool now. Anyway, I'm just cooling them, guys, until they go to temperature. Once they go into, uh, I'm gonna follow this. I'm gonna, in the meantime, because these are the ones that have the coconut oil, I'm gonna put the other ones to heat. Okay, I need to make a note that candle number one is the yellow one. Candle number two, magenta. Candle number three, green. Comes to heat, I'm gonna put it in low for these three candles in here. Okay, so let's see the temperature on this. Remember, they need to go down to 160. 181, too hot. Actually, I need to add the fragrance oil between 185 and 180. So let me just put this back on the heat. Now that I remember, they need to be hot. 177, it needs to go back on the heat. You see what happens, guys? We all make mistakes. Okay, this one is perfect. This one is 185. And this one is candle number three. So, candle number three, fragrance oil number three. And then mix for two minutes. You need to add the fragrance oil when it's hot because that's when the molecules are uh, open the most on soy wax. And you have to make sure that you trap. That's why you have to mix it really well for two minutes. And then once it reaches 160, I'm gonna pour. Check the temperature. 182, so this one is, is ready. Okay, um, let me see the temperature in here. 165, 163. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna get ready to pour, guys. I have the vessels in front of me, so I won't be able to show you. Okay, this one is candle number three, the green one. So I'm, let me just put this. You see, guys, it's all on the timing. So I need to check the temperatures in this. So I'm gonna add the coloring. So for number one, Five drops of yellow. Number two, 
Five drops magenta, number three, five drops green. And I have new spatulas in here, clean ones. Because again, you don't want to mix stuff. It's all in the timing, guys. But you have to be accurate on the testing. You know, check the temperature all the time. 178, 163, 193. So this one is ready to come out. This one is number three. So you have to cool down. So let's see the temperature on these ones. 194, 197, they're still too hot. 167, 183. Okay, so this one is almost ready. I'm gonna turn this off. Okay, this one is 185. I'm gonna add, this is candle number two. I'm gonna add the oil to candle number two. With the coconut oil, also 185, ready? So I'm gonna concentrate on these two first. So I have in here two of the candles that have the coconut oil. This is candle number one and number two with the coconut oil. They need to mix for two minutes really well. And then I'm gonna pour at 160, 170, 168. Keep stirring. So I'm gonna concentrate in these two candles. I'm not gonna worry about the ones in the back because the ones in the back, uh, the heat is off. So I don't have to worry about getting burned. It's all a science, guys. All a science. 169, 166. I love doing this test. It's like a challenge for me, you know? It's like, you feel accomplished once something, once you find that whether something works or doesn't work, you know? You see, okay, I experienced that, you know? So it's, so you don't go by what people tell, tell you, you go by what you did, um, whether or not it worked for you or not. 163, I think it's enough to pour. So this one is number one. Okay, so now let's focus on these three candles in here. And let's do the same thing. Okay, so let's check the temperature. Okay, this one is very hot, 186. Okay, so this one is number two. I'm gonna add, okay, temperature is 182, perfect. So let me just add, so I'm gonna let this solidify, guys, and I'm gonna take pictures as they get uh, hard. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna cure them. Somebody suggested to, uh, to cure them upside down. I think that really works. Okay, so let me see this temperature in here. 198, still too hot. And the temperature in here, 172. And this one, 168. Let's add this for number one. So now we have all the candles have been completed with the formula. So they'll have their own uh, fragrance oils and just waiting for them to come into temperature. They have beautiful colors. So this is gonna be a fun uh, candle to show you guys. I'm glad that I did the color so, so it will show whether or not I, have, I get frosting using the coconut oil with or without it. And the same, they have the same color, the same fragrance oil uh, amount. So, you know, it's very accurate test and the same wicks, Eco 4 which is something that I'm not really that concerned about. I'm more concerned about the candle itself. I'm not really that concerned about, okay, 162. This ready to pour. 172, still too hot. You see, it's all a science. So you all have to have patience. 169, I'm comfortable if it's between 160 and 165. Preferably 163, 162, 162 is fine. So, you know, just take your time and be patient, guys. Don't, don't cut corners because then you're gonna be left without an accurate test. So I have all my vessels sitting on, in the soap water, 165. And I'm gonna mention all this uh, next Sunday. I'm gonna be talking about this, about this subject, guys. So uh, if you have any questions, uh, save them for me on Sunday, you know, and yeah. So I'm thinking about a few topics to do with you guys on on Sundays, uh, send me questions on which topics you would like me to talk about. You know, I'd, I'm gonna need you guys' help because I wanna I wanna talk to you guys with something that you really care, that you really want to know. You know, it's just uh, I mean I do love doing my Q and A's because that's how we all uh, 163. So let me just pour this. That's how we all um, can help each other. Okay, guys, let me show you the candles. So yeah, so this is. The ones in the front, I have the coconut oil. The ones in the back, don't have any coconut oil. So I'm just gonna clean all this up, guys, and I'll be right back. Hi, guys, welcome back. 
So these are the three beautiful candles that we just finished making. Uh, the three candles in the front, uh, I added half a teaspoon each of virgin coconut oil. Uh, guys, you don't have to get any fancy coconut oil. What you need to know is like, it needs to be solid. If it comes in the in, in like in, in an oil, whatever it is, uh, it's not good. It needs to be solid because it needs to solidify in the wax. Okay, so I'm gonna leave them here, guys. I'm gonna wait a few hours until they get solidified, and then I'm gonna take a few pictures and see how uh, they're looking. And again, I'm not gonna be testing for a CT or HT because I need to cure for two weeks. But I'm gonna be showing them to you guys on my next Sunday's live. Don't forget Sunday at 12 noon Pacific time. Uh, yeah. So let me just, I'll come back in a few hours. Okay guys, so it's been a couple of hours now. I just wanna show you the uh, the way they're looking. The color is beautiful. Uh, but guys, but I'm so surprised. Um, kind of disappointed in a way. Uh, do you see the finish I'm getting in there? It's like I see a couple of sinkholes. These are, the ones in the front are the ones that had the coconut oil. So, I'm getting, I'm seeing, look at this one, it has a huge sinkhole there. This one also is, has like a sinkhole developing in there. So I'm mean, still, still a little bit warm. And this one also has like a sinkhole, something uh, developing there. So it's the same thing as the ones in the back. It has a sinkhole in the back. This one has a sinkhole also developing and it's developing frosting also. And the same with this one. So they all look the same to me. I, you know, to me, it didn't make a difference whether I had uh, the coconut oil or not. So yeah, so I'm gonna let it uh, also solidify more, uh, more. So I'm gonna come back in a couple of hours. I'm gonna take off the, uh, the wig holders and I'm gonna trim the wigs so we can have a better uh, look at the candle. Okay guys, so it's been four hours and the candles are uh, fully solidified and cold, I mean cool. So let me just show you before I remove the the wig holders. I just want to show you candle by candle. Okay, so the three in the front, they uh, they all have uh, coconut oil. This one here that I bought from supermarket. And uh, let's see. So let me give you a nice view before I remove the. So it, this one it looks okay, but it looks like it's crackling. I don't know if you can see it on the sides in here. You see that cracking there? Okay, this one in the back is the one without any coconut oil. And it's also cracking, you see, in the circle. But I don't see any sinkholes in here. Uh, it has a big sinkhole is forming. Uh, let's see. But I have to say, uh, the texture is, is smooth. I don't see any frosting. The only thing I see is a sinkhole in there. Okay, the one without coconut oil is basically the same finish on the top. You see, I'm gonna put it against the light. So, this one is with the coconut oil. I mean, it's a little bit shinier. You see the shine, the reflection of the light, and this one is more matte. So that's the only difference that I see. Let me see this one, reflection on the light. Yeah, it's the ones with the coconut oil, uh, the color is more matte. That's the only difference. Okay, this one in here has a huge sinkhole, you see? But again, it has like a shiny finish. You see against the light. And this one, it has like a more matte finish. And this one has a sinkhole in the back. So, so to be honest guys, I don't see really any, any, uh, any, any reason why to add coconut oil to this wax. Uh, to me, it looks the same. The only difference is a little bit of um, the finish that it's a little bit more uh, shinier. But I mean, it's not something that I would just go out of the way and just um, put coconut oil. Now the big test is gonna be uh, the CT and the HT. That I'm not gonna be able to review today, but let me see, let me try this one. Compared to the one, just the CT. Okay, let's see. I think it's the same. So it's not, I don't, I don't notice any difference on uh, strong, the strength of the CT. Let me check this one here, orange blossom and big and cashmere vanilla. The CT is very minimal, the same CT. So no difference. Let me see this one. Very weak CT. The same. 
So as far as I can tell, uh, it's the same. With or without it. You know, so yeah, so that's my uh, assessment so far. You know, it's maybe tomorrow I'll wake up and I'll find some frosting. Uh, we'll see. So I'm going to wait until tomorrow to post this video, guys, because I want to give you the full, the full review. So I'm not going to touch these candles tonight. I'm going to leave them to really cure like this um, without removing the, uh, the wick holder because I don't want to distress anything. Maybe they're still curing from the inside. You know, they're, they're very, they're cool. They're room temperature, you know, uh, so, but I don't want to dis to disrupt them until tomorrow. Okay, guys, so. Oh, hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so guys, I'm kind of disappointed because uh, the test that I'm running for you guys did not come out the way I was I was hoping for uh, to meet and they, they all look the same. I don't see any difference. I mean, just, I'm gonna leave them without touching them for a full 24 hours so um, this video is not done yet but, but what I'm gonna do guys is this two plain candles using uh, the wax that I have left over from there coconut oil to one candle and nothing in the other one and let's see if I, if I see any difference okay so I'm gonna put a point um, equal to okay guys you know what I'm gonna add some uh, fragrance oil I'm gonna try the bergamot and tobacco that I got from Carlos and Supply so I have the grill going um, we need to make, to bring it to 175, I mean 185, and then pour 160. Okay, I'm gonna leave this in here because this is gonna tell me the one that has the coconut oil, this one doesn't, so that's the way I'm gonna know. So, okay, so I'm gonna take you up right over there. Hold on. So then, so that's perfect temperature. Now I'm going to mix for two minutes. You know, this way I can say on the video and you can see, you know, that I try everything, you know, to make it work. I was trying to replicate the, the same video from months ago. Sometimes things work like this. Nothing you can do about it, guys. Let's go with the flow. It's just that I do these videos with such a passion, you know? It's just that I wanna make, I just wanna get, have a, like a, a, a wonderful outcome, just like any good movie, you know? But sometimes, you know, you have to show your success and your failures. Okay, the first one is ready to be poured. Yes, I'm almost off the frame. I just wanna show you I just want to show you guys the two new candles that I made and let me just put some uh, on top. I hope the, the wigs on uh, and I decided to use this kind of uh, fragrance oil, bergamot and tobacco from Candles and Supplies. So guys, this is it. This is the end of the video. I'm going to uh, put more pictures of tomorrow. So it's, it's the end of the video today, but I'm continuing tomorrow. So let's see what develops and let's see how this one comes out. I just want to see the finish. You know, uh, again, I'm very disappointed that I, I was hoping to get better, better finish using coconut oil. Apparently uh, this wax acts different than 464. You know, uh, like I don't know what kind of blending agents they have, you know, when they create the different waxes. So yeah, so we'll see. At least we know that these ones don't have any color. So let's see what uh, the difference is going to be. Okay, so guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, guys, welcome back. So let's see. Uh, these are already solidified. It's been a couple of hours. So this one has a coconut oil. Let's look at the at the top. I Me mean, just show it to the light so you can see the reflection. So this one looks soft. I don't see any sinkholes. Uh, it's uneven the surface, but that's the way it is. It doesn't bother me. And this one is the plane with the coconut oil. Basically, it looks the same to me. Okay, so I'm gonna place uh, the camera in the other side, and I'm gonna start taking off the all these uh, wick holders, and let's see how they're looking. Okay, let me just get set up. Okay, guys. So I think this is the best I can. Okay, guys. So this is the best I can do for you guys to see this. Okay, so I'm gonna start taking off the uh, the wig holders and I'm gonna trim the wig, trim the wigs. Guys, I'm kind of disappointed because I was hoping to I was hoping to give to get you guys, you know, something that you could more visual, you know. Uh, apparently, uh, this way uh, this wax is way more different than the 464 that I used to use, which is the wax that I use for uh, to to make the uh, the other video. Okay, so this one is the plain one. This is, let me just trim them. Okay, the only difference that I see that is very visible is that 
the one without coconut oil, uh, the finish is more shinier, smoother. The one without it is more grainy. So that's something that, you know, that's the only difference. Let me see the CT. The CT is the same. So, okay, this one is the coconut oil. I'm gonna show you this one is, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. Let me just put it against the light. It's more, it's shinier. And this one is more, uh, more grainier, like more sandy. Side by side, coconut and not coconut. So this one is starting to crack. This one too. I don't know if you can see it. If I put it against the light. Okay. Number one, this is orange blossom. Orange blossom and fig. Passion fruit and plumeria. It smells amazing. The city is amazing. Uh, that, that I have to say. Beautiful. This one is the one with the coconut oil. And this one is without it. Let me see if I can see a difference. To me, they look the same. I'm gonna put them on the light. This one is a tiny bit shinier, but it's it's the same, you know? It's I don't see any difference. So I just wanna show them to you. But the CT is really nice. I'm very happy with that. We'll see. Okay, the next one is orange blossom and fig and cashmere vanilla. You know, this one is the one with the coconut oil and it's a bit smoother. Let me put it against the light. And this one is the one without it. So I'm gonna put, so you can see the finish on the light. Again, the CT, they both smell the same. So I cannot complain because of that. But did you see the cracking going? You see the cracking? And this one is, I have a sink hole in there. So this is why guys, I don't use soy wax because very unpredictable, you know, it's okay. The last one has three different fragrance oil. This one has cashmere vanilla, gardenia, grapefruit, and pink peony and nectarine. Okay, this one has the, uh, the least amount of uh, uh, CT. I really don't smell that much. So I'm not too happy about that. So let me show them side by side. This one has coconut oil, but this one doesn't. They both have sinkholes, as you can see. Again, the only difference that I see is that this one is a, a little bit smoother and this one is looks uh, more uh, grainier, the finish. Let me put it on the line, maybe you can... It's barely the same to me. So, it's very delicate, the smell, so, I don't know. So, okay guys, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cure them inside boxes. So, I'm gonna take cardboard boxes and I'm gonna cure them upside down. Okay? Uh, the logic that I see on this, is, you know, maybe, maybe this is not proven, but the way I think about it is the law of, of physics. That if the fragrance oil has not uh, mixed well with the wax and it's sitting in the bottom, by me cur curing the, uh, the candle upside down, will bring all the uh, fragrance oil to the top as it cures. So we'll see, we'll see. You know, it's, you can only try. So I'm putting them all inside the box, upside down, and I'm going to unveil them on my Sunday live. So next Sunday at 12 noon Pacific time, don't forget guys. And we're gonna make the big reveal for, this, uh, for these candles and give you my final thoughts. And I'm very happy that I did the, the white the plain ones with no color, guys, um, only at the scent. Uh, so I can compare to see uh, whether or not was the color was um, the additive that was making them look the same. But being that I have no color in this one, uh, it wasn't that. Okay, so I'm gonna, again, gonna upside down. 
Okay guys, and that's it. So I'm gonna end the video here guys. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, give me a like on the video. That's the way my, my channel is gonna grow. On my Sunday live. So don't forget to meet me there. Don't, so don't forget to uh, tune in. Uh, so you can see the results. Uh, the reason why I'm gonna leave them here is because I wanna see, I wanna cure them inside the box. And I don't wanna take a look at them until next Sunday. Uh, because I wanna see whether or not they got frosting whether or not they got more sinkholes. I wanna see how uh, curing uh, the candles upside down affects the uh, the candle itself. Uh, yeah, so, okay guys, so I'm gonna leave the video here. Take care of yourself and each other. And don't forget to share the content uh, with all your friends and family. And also check out the other channel, Healthy Label with Michael, so you can see how I live right here in beautiful Portland, Oregon, okay? So take care of yourself and I'll see you Sunday. Bye, yes! Take your falling